So I hope you are well this morning and ready for 30 minute practice. So we're going to start in a seated position this morning. So whatever that means to you, to find a comfortable seated position, you can sit back on to the heels with the bum with the knees bent, or you can sit with the legs crossed in front. Just trying to find a position where the spine is nice and long. And then lifting the flesh from the sitting bones so that when you're sitting on the ground, you've got the bony part of the pelvis connecting to the floor. Keeping the eyes open this morning so that we can feel present in the moment and start to wake the body up nice and gently today. So nothing too forceful this morning, nothing too young, just a nice flow of energy to kickstart our day. And just really to check in with the body and how we're feeling today rather than starting the day living in the mind. So hands are going to come to the knees and then you're just going to place the palms face up towards the sky. Relax the back of the hands and the knuckles and the fingers. Drop the shoulders away from the ears and then just start to bring the spine forward and back. So forward so much that you feel as if you're going to kind of fall forward and then back. And then you're going to try and find your middle point. So seeing if you can do this without thinking about it too much, just try and find the middle point where the base of the spine, the coccyx, tailbone, to the top of the head is a nice equilibrium line. So we're not too far forward or too far back. Dropping the shoulders away from the ears. And then pick something in front of you. So maybe something kind of a, a few feet in front of you on the floor so that the gaze is, is nice and gentle. Pick that focus point with the eyes and just start to notice and check in with the body this morning. Start to notice if you started your day maybe in your mind more than in your body. Where is your awareness today? And then bringing your awareness to the body, just take a mental scan from the head, from the top of the head all the way down, the neck, the shoulders, the chest, the arms, the hips and the legs, and just starting to notice any kind of chatter in the body today. So any parts of the body that are talking to you, maybe any aches or pains or some energy. And then just let the body be heavy. So we're starting the practice in stillness this morning so that when we do start to move the body, we're starting from a place of awareness. Setting yourself an intention for the next 30 minutes. And if you're not sure what intention you're working with today, then I'm gonna be working one, leading you through the practice this morning with a nice simple intention to see if we can connect with a flow of energy this morning. So flowing from pose to pose, from breath to breath. Cultivating that feeling of living a life in flow so that when we step off the mat, we feel more in flow and less in a fight or flight. And then when you're ready, gently taking the hands either side of the body. On the inhale, we're gonna sweep the hands up towards the sky. And on the exhale, you're going to drop the right arm to the, sorry, the right, yeah, the right arm to the left knee and then just drop the left arm up over the left shoulder. And then we're going to go on the opposite side with the breath. So on the inhale, the arms go up towards the sky. And then on the exhale, left hand drops, right hand drops over the right shoulder. Inhale up. Exhale left. So nice and gentle. Make sure you're not twisting too much with this. Flow with your own breath. So on the inhale, move up. And then on the exhale, twist to the right. Inhale up. Exhale left. So just nice gentle movements and see if you can follow your own breath. Inhale up. Exhale down. Make them nice and flowy. As you reach up on the inhale, really reach up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, just let the arms fall. And then when you've done your next one on your right side, you're going to gently bring the hands back together at prayer at heart centre, pushing the thumb in towards the chest bone. This time we're going to take the spine from the left to the right. So keeping the legs nice and heavy, just gently bring the spine from the left to the right. You can come off the sit bones from one side to move out, that happens. And then you're going to very gently start to find the middle point in between the two. So again, we're all kind of hips are nice and neutral. We're in an equilibrium part with our spine. And then seeing if you can lengthen a little bit more in the spine by bringing the chest up. So noticing if the shoulders are kind of rounded forward. You want to drop the shoulders back. And see if you can lift the chest up, almost as if your heart's going to be magnetized a little bit more towards the sky. And then when you're ready, you're going to rock forward onto your hands and knees, coming into tabletop position. 
working with whatever happens for you today so letting kind of any sensations in the body come up but always making sure that you adapt as you need to so in tabletop making sure there's a nice space in the hands and the knees the hands are directly under the shoulders and the knees are directly under the hips so we're making like a box shape with the body and then seeing if you can need to walk the knees maybe a little bit away from you so that you can make sure that your spine is nice and straight so when we look in between the hands we really want a nice long spine. If the hands and knees are too close, we're going to have a round in the spine. So seeing if you can start to tuck the tailbone under and feel how straight that spine is. And then we're going to start to push into the mat with the hand and you should start to feel the face coming away from the ground ever so slightly. And then just holding here for a second, we're going to push the back of the feet into the mat, start to push the shins into the mat, start to feel the legs start to wake up. And then we're going to connect in with the breath here. So we're just holding tabletop, we're pushing into the ground with our hands and our feet and our shins. Taking a deep breath into the nose for the count of three. Open the mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> Inhaling. Open the mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> Inhaling fresh energy from this morning. Exhale out, really let go of any grogginess from last night's sleep. Last one, inhaling. Exhale out. And then gently bring it all the weight into the right knee. If you need to put a cushion with the right knee, you can do. And for now, we're just going to gently pick that left knee off the ground and you're just going to take it out to the side. And then you're going to take the knee behind you and then in towards the chest. So as if you're drawing a circle with that left knee. So really small movements here to start with, just to start to get into that left hip socket, starting to notice anything that's coming up. Again, remembering to keep the integrity of the pose by pushing into the mat with the hands. The arms will start to wake up here as well. And then gently placing that left knee back down. One more deep breath before we go to the opposite side. Inhaling through the nose and out through the mouth. Lift the right knee up. Maybe you can just lift it very so ever so slightly off the mat. It doesn't matter how far, just make sure that you're going with what suits your body so you can get a nice opening into the right hip. So really small movements this morning, but effective. And then again, pushing into the mat with the hands and the left knee, circling that right knee round. Remember to breathe in and out through the nose as you do so. And then when you're ready, very gently placing that right knee back. This time you're gonna straighten the left foot out behind you. So left toe comes into the mat. And we're just gonna to start to bounce the leg. So bringing the weight forward on the inhale. And then on the exhale, you're gonna push the weight back, push that left heel back in towards the ground, start to feel the calf, start to wake up. Inhale forward. Exhale back. So let's go nice and slow. Let's inhale forward. And then on the exhale, really sink that left foot back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Push into the ground so the shoulders are starting to activate or all the weight's going to be in the wrists and the hands and they're going to tire quite quickly. And the last one we're going to hold. Inhale, come forward. On the exhale, push back. See so if you're going to hold that push back with the left heel. And then gently place that left knee back to meet the right. Placing the right foot back towards back of the mat. Straight leg with the right, right leg and the right toes in into the mat. And again, inhale forward, exhale back. So really seeing this is not just a stretch, but we're breathing into the stretch. So you inhale forward. And as you exhale out, you push back with that right heel. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Last one, we're going to hold. Really push into the mat with the hands. Inhale forward, exhale back and just hold. Really push that right heel back as much as you can. Just start to listen to anything that the calves and the ankles are starting to say to you. And then gently placing that right knee back to meet the left. And then we're just going to start to do some circles with the hips. So bringing the weight all towards the left. And then you're going to bring the weight forward and then to the right and then back. So nice circles with the hips. So going in a clockwise direction. Remembering to breathe in and out through the nose. And then changing directions with the hips. So just starting to get that flow of energy in the hips this morning. Releasing any tension in the glutes, the groin, the hips, the quads. Especially after a night's sleep. And then when you're ready, very gently using the hands to walk yourself up. You're going to see if you can gently bring your weight up and then you're going to step forward with the right foot or however you need to get there, whichever is best for you. 
Again, option to put a cushion under the left knee if you need to, or you can double up the mat to cushion the left knee. Or if you need to, you can tuck the back leg. That's, that makes my knee worse, but just working with whatever you've got for your body because it's your body, nobody else's. And then stepping the right foot out a little bit. So we don't want to be on a tightrope. We want the right foot to be a little bit more towards the right. And then hands are going to come to the hip so you can keep them at prayer at heart centre, whichever feels best for you. And then you're going to gently take a deep breath in and make a nice long spine. And then on the exhale, you're going to exhale through the nose and just gently push the weight forward with that left hip. On the inhale, come back up. Exhale forward. So just gently using the breath to move that left hip right, left forward and back. And then again, see if you can flow with your energy. So you can even pick something to look at and just connect in with the breath so the breath moves you. So you inhale forward. Exhale back. One more. Inhale forward. And then on the exhale back, this time you're going to come back. You're going to gently lift that right toe. You might want to walk the right leg forward a little bit so that you can get to a straight leg. If you can't get to a straight leg, then that's not the aim of the pose. It depends what you're working with with the back of the hamstrings. So just seeing here, if wherever you are with the right toe off the floor, however straight the leg is, you can make sure that you've got a nice long spine. So imagining you're trying to lift up from the torso and the belly area. And then just seeing if you can fold the hips ever so slightly. As we say, I've said it about 10 times already. And then just seeing if you can release the hands to the side of that right leg. If you can't, then the hands are going to come to the top of the thigh. So in the morning, you might have limited mobility. So for me, I'm quite tight this morning, so I can't get to the ground. Just hold in that pose for two deep breaths, and then we're going to move. One more deep breath. And then when you're ready, rocking the weight forward, first of all, framing that right foot with both hands, and then stepping that right foot back to the right knee to the left. Stepping the left foot forward this time. And again, coming back up, hands onto hips, or maybe hands to prayer. And let's just take a moment to make sure that we're grounded and connected with the practice and connected with the breath. So if we've entered our mind, that's normal. We're just seeing if you can bring your awareness back to the body. How does the body feel? What was your intention that you set this morning? Why did you come to practice this morning? What does yoga mean to you? Remind yourself of all of things before we move again. And then keeping the hands at prayer or hips, whichever is best for you. Take a deep breath in, go forward. And then exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Starting to feel that right hip and what's happening for you as you move forward and back. Remember never to push past a point of pain. We're only pushing past our, our edge. And then after the next one, you're going to come back and you're going to lift that left toe this time. So again, you can walk the left heel away from you if you need to. If you can keep your balance, you can stay up. We're seeing if you can lengthen in the spine and then start to fold forward. Even if you bring the heart forward, literally like half an inch, I can start to feel that. I start to activate in the back of my thigh. So it depends what happens, in, what's happening in your body. See if you can get to a point where the back of that left thigh is having a nice deep stretch. Hold here for two deep breaths. Send the breath to the back of that left thigh. And then when you're ready, journey coming forward, framing the left foot. And then gently stepping the left foot back to meet the right. And then we're going to come to standing through downward dog. So if downward dog isn't in your practice or you've got any issues with being in downward dog, then just gently find in a standing position and we'll meet you there. So tucking the toes towards the mat, just kind of hit the toes on the ground a little bit. A nice back, bringing the energy to the feet and then bringing the weight back. Now, before we come up to downward dog, we're going to see if we can put a nice gentle bend in the knuckles. You're going to see if you can really lock the shoulders out so that the, the ears and the shoulders have a little bit of space in between them. And then you're going to start to engage the core here to lift us up. So, we're going to tuck the tailbone. So, imagine you've got a tail and you're trying to hide it away. Start to feel the front of the body engage. And then, when you can, then you're going to lift the hips. Padding out the downward dog, so heels come to the ground. Imagine you're trying to look towards the feet and you're trying to take your head with the gaze. So the head pulling through the shoulders. Padding the heels towards the floor. And then when you're ready, very gently, you're going to start to walk the feet to meet the hands. When you get there, you're going to come through ragdoll with a bend in the knee. Folding over the chest, just let the arms hang over the body, let the chin tuck towards the chest and just start to sway from left to right. And then very slowly, we're going to come to standing with a deep breath. So take a deep breath in through the nose, five. 
full three, two, one. And then come into a Tadasa pose, mountain pose in the, in the middle or the top of the mat. Feet together, knees together, thighs together. Hands are going to come either side of the body with the palms faced forward. So standing nice and tall in mountain pose. See if you can tuck that tailbone under so that again we start to activate the front of the body and relax the lower back. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Feel rooted to the ground. Feet. Soften any energy in the jaw and the forehead before we start to move again. Just take this moment of stillness to connect back into your practice, your body, not your mind. And then when you're ready on the in, how are you going to gently bounce the knees? Sweep the hands either side of the body, take them up towards the sky. And then on the exhale, you're going to bring the hands through the centre line at prayer at heart centre. And again, bounce, inhale up. And exhale down. This time we're going to start to exhale through the mouth. So bounce the knees, inhale up through the nose. Exhale up through the mouth. And again. So you can shoot that breath out through the mouth. So inhale up. Exhale, shoot the breath out through the mouth. Two more. Inhale up. Last one, inhale up. And then taking a second again into that's the pose. This time, just closing the eyes very briefly before we start to move again. Connecting back into your natural rate of breath. See if you can make it a little bit longer with each breath. So longer inhale, longer exhale. And then starting to engage the legs here, gently blinking the eyes open, taking a drink whenever you need to. I only remember to say that when I need a drink. <laughs> so feet together, knees together, and then seeing if you can start to, in fact, let's walk the feet out a little bit. Let's say the feet are about hip width distance. It's a morning practice, so a really good morning ritual is to, is to start by grounding the energy. So this can be done outside, ideally, in nature, in the grass. But today we're making use of our indoor mat or carpet. So on the inhale, you're going to bring the heels off the ground, even if it's just for a little bit. If you can take it all the way onto your tiptoes, then great. Use the hands for leverage to kind of balance you out. And then on the exhale, you're going to slam the heels towards the ground. So inhale up, exhale, slam. Put a bend in the knee to protect the lower back. Inhale, exhale down. And then just play with this for 10 slams with the heels. Let the arms just kind of fall either side of the body and really start to feel the energy kind of ripple up the calf, up the thighs. As you slam the heels down, you're basically throwing away any negative energy that you're storing and connecting back to the source, which is the air. Last one, and then gently coming back to standing. And then walking the feet back in to meet each other, using all the weight into the left foot this time. Seeing if you can connect all four corners of the foot to the ground. So quite often we all have an instep or maybe even flat feet. If you can push the weight out a little bit, just see if you can keep that connection with all four corners of the feet. And then you're going to very gently start to lift the right knee in front of you. Again, if this is too much for you, you can just point towards the ear. You're still going to get that left foot, sorry, the right foot in front. Lifting the left knee if you can. And then on the inhale, you're going to take your arm up towards the sky. And then on the exhale, you're going to drop that left arm in front of you. And you're going to see if you can drop the right arm behind you. If that's too much, then the right and left arm are going to come in front of you. And then very gently start to gradually imagine you've got like a bow, and, a, a bow and arrow, bringing the right arm behind you. Holding there for one deep breath. Bringing both hands back in front of the body, straightening that right leg and just starting to circle with the right hand. And then gently placing that right foot down, bringing all the weight into the right foot this time. Pointing that left foot forward, option to lift the left knee. And then again, inhale, take the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring both hands up into the body. You might start to wobble here, but that's exactly the point of this pose is that we're trying to challenge our awareness to come back to the breath when we do wobble. And then taking the left arm behind you, if you can, holding there for one deep breath, really pushing through the ground with that right foot. And then gently starting to bring that left arm back in front of you, start to straighten the left leg and start to just circle that left ankle. And then let's just start to kick out the energy in the legs. So shaking out the legs, maybe use your hand to slap the energy on the top of the thighs. 
starting to create new blood flow in, that, in the legs and the thigh area, which has done work for us this morning. And then when you're ready, coming back to standing, you're gonna very gently just step back with the left foot. So if you're on your mat, you can take your feet either side of the mat. So right foot to the right, left to the left. Or if you're on your carpet, then just making sure you're not stood on a tight rope. I'm an imaginary tight rope, obviously. Um, but so there's a little bit of space in between the two. And then seeing if you can check, check where the hips are. So the hips might naturally go towards the left. We wanna see if we can place the hips both facing forward. Option to have the left foot at a bit of an angle. So the toe is kind of, this is really hard to describe. The toe is a bit of an angle from, from the left ankle as you look down. Just see if you can kind of find a place where you feel nice and balanced. Hands on the hips, making sure they're forward. And then once the hips feel as if they're forward, you're gonna bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And on the exhale, you're gonna straighten that front leg. So when you straighten that front leg, notice what happens with the tailbone. See if the tailbone starts to tuck out. You're going to see if you can tuck the tailbone out to so as if you've got a tailbone, you're trying to show it off. And then see if you can very gently just start to melt that heart towards the right thigh. And we're going to use the breath here. So on the inhale, the body's going to come back up to straight. And then on the exhale, you're going to flow that chest towards the right thigh. Inhale up. Exhale down. Option to bring the arms in here. So on the inhale, the arms come up the, up the head towards the sky. And on the exhale, they cactus down and the chest comes towards the thigh. You can drop the leg hands towards the thigh and then sweep them up. So make it like a bit of a flowy movement, a bit like a circle. So instead of like holding the pose, we're just flowing the movement. Seeing if you can take that chest a little bit closer towards the right thigh with every breath. One last one. And then when you're ready, very gently coming back up to center, hands are gonna to come to the hips. And then gently starting to bend into that right knee. And then let's just make sure that the torso is nice and long. So notice that the body is facing forward. You want a straight line from the head to the coccyx. So as if the torso is sinking right in between the hips. Bend a little bit more forward, bend forward with that right leg. Making sure we're using the breath here, deep breath in for two, out for two. Hold that right knee bent foot with as far forward as possible without any pain. Two more deep breaths. And then journey straighten in that right leg. And then gently walk in the right foot. So both feet are facing the same direction in the lengthwise of the mat. So starting to come to a wide legged stance. And then we're just going to very gently start to bend one knee at a time. So we're going to bend the left knee on the inhale and then straighten on the exhale and the right knee on the inhale, straighten on the exhale. If you can see, if you can place the toes pointed out so the toes are pointed away from you. And then when you bend and go left, you're gonna just go a little bit deeper. Using the breath, remembering the body is forward. So the body might wanna come forward to have a look what's going on, seeing if you can keep it nice and straight. And again, just start to flow from side to side with whatever fits for you. Tucking that tailbone under as you do so. And this might start to burn as the energy starts to just create in the thigh. Just reminding yourself that's energy that you're creating. And then very gently coming back to center. And then placing the feet facing forward. Just gently bringing the chest down. Not all the way, just very gently. So as if you've got like a tabletop. Placing the hands above the head in front of you. Hold here for two breaths. Really deep breaths. See if you can breathe in so much that you feel the breath going to the bottom of the belly. And then gently bending the knees, gently starting to walk the feet back in to meet each other. And then again, let's shake the energy out. Adding a dance if you're feeling a little bit dancey this morning. Taking the back, the hands to the thighs, front and back, starting to bring the energy back there. See if you can kind of slap onto the front of the groin as well. We've got um, a, one of our limp systems is there as well. So we're starting to detox the body this morning. And then gently coming back to a standing position. This time we're going to step back with the right foot. And again, option to take the legs out wide so that the hips can come forward. Making sure that you've got a nice long spine. Feet are connected towards the air. And then on the inhale, taking a deep breath in. On the exhale, straightening that front leg. And then seeing if you can gently bring that chest towards the left thigh. And then option to use the hands here. So in the inhale, we come up. And then the exhale, we float down. Nice and gentle. Inhale up. 
exhale down. Inhale, exhale down. See if we can take that heart a little bit closer towards the top of that thigh with each time. And then one more, and then gently coming back. And then bending that front leg forward, hands on the hips or prayer at heart centre, whichever feels best for you. Again, option for that right foot to be on an angle, or you can even lift the right heel if that's better for you. Just depends what mobility you've got in your ankle and your car. And then really bending forward with that front leg, we make sure the body's not going with you. The body wants to stay right above the coccyx, it's just the leg that's going forward. So you will start to feel the energy start to burn here. Use the breath, come back to the breath, which is your oxygen, your energy center. Deep breaths in. And on the exhale, just drop the shoulders away from the ears and really feel the feet through to the ground. One more deep breath in. And then when you're ready, very gently starting to straighten that left leg. And then again, starting to take both feet out towards the side of the mat. And then this time, instead of taking the bend in the knees from side to side, we're gonna to come to goddess pose. So feet are gonna come out and you might need to walk the feet in a little bit here, just kind of feel what's right for you. There is a benefit from having wider legs, but just depends where you're up to. And then gently tucking the tailbone under, on the inhale, you're going to take the arms up towards the sky. And then on the exhale, you're going to cactus the arms and bend the knees. Just very gently. Inhale, straighten the legs, straighten arms. Exhale, bend the elbows, bend the knees. See if you can push the knees out towards the little toes, not in towards the big toes. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale. Exhale down. On the last one, we're going to hold. Inhale, reach up. And then on the exhale, just drop the, as if someone's pulling the coccyx towards the ground with an invisible cord, took the tailbone under. Hold here with bent knees, bent elbows. Hold the body, but take one more exhale and in, exhale out and take one more deep breath in. And then gently straightening them legs. Start to walk the feet in to meet each other. And then to finish the practice with a balanced pose, seeing if we can connect in with our ground and energy this morning before we step off the mat. So option here with the balance pose. We're going to come to tree pose this morning. So left foot into the mat and you're going to put forward with the right foot. And then you're going to see if you can take that right foot onto the left ankle, the left calf or the left inner thigh. You might need to use your hand to help it up. If you are taking the foot on the left inner thigh, see if you can get that resistance between the right foot and the left thigh, almost as if they're pushing into to, to each other. And your hands are going to be your balance here. So you're going to take your hands out either side, make like the okay sign, like a chin mudra with the thumb and the next finger. See if you can take branches to your tree by taking your arms up towards the sky. Feeling rooted to the air through that left foot. Hold here. And if you're starting to wobble, Take a deep breath in and notice what happens to the body as you take a deep breath in. Your attention goes to the breath, not the wobble. And then option to use that right hand if you want to help the right knee in front of you. And then holding that right knee in front of you and just starting to circle the right ankle. And then start to circle the hips as well. See if you can take that right knee round in nice circles. And then gently placing that right foot down. And then same on the left one. So making sure we're nice and long and tall before we go into the pose, rooting through the ground with that right foot. And then when you feel as if that right foot is kind of cemented to the earth, really rooted in, into, the, into the ground, going to fold with the left foot, left foot to left ankle, left foot to left calf, or left foot to inner right thigh. Taking it slowly so that when you do get to wherever your pose is, it's exactly where you should be. You shouldn't be anywhere else but in the level that you're on now. Taking your arms out for balance, it can really help to do that chin mudra with the fingers. Making sure the body's not sluggish here. Lift up with the chest. Really stand proud this morning. You've got up out of bed to be on the yoga mat. You deserve to feel proud and nice and tall and strong. And then again, option to take that left hand on the left knee in front of you. Circle the wrist, the wrist, the ankle, and do the wrist as well, that helps. And then starting to circle the knee as well. The hand can stay on or come off, depending on your balance. And then gently placing the feet back down. And then starting to shake out the feet and hands. Closing the practice with a pranayama exercise. 
so that we can really cleanse any energy that we've brought up. So by moving the body in this way, we're unblocking any channels that are blocked, releasing any trapped emotions. So by finishing with the pranayama, we can make sure that we shift any of that energy that we've brought up so that when you go forward for your day, you'll be nice and cleansed and ready for the day. So find a comfortable place where the feet are nice and strong. Your right hand's going to go on top of the belly button and your left hand's going to go on the middle of the chest. You're going to drop your shoulders away from your ears. You're going to make sure that the body's not coming forward. So a nice straight line with the body. Make sure that the torso is not moving forward. Close down the eyes for a second and just feel the energy that's moving around your body right now energy that you've created. Give yourself some gratitude for getting out of bed this morning. And then you're going to take four deep sips of air in through the nose. Hold the breath at the top. Feel the chest contract, the ribs contract into the hands. Over the mouth, let it go. And again, four deep breaths. Hold the breath at the top, keep the eyes closed. Feel the feet supported by the air. And exhale out. And then take in single breaths here. But see if you can take them a little bit quicker. So we're going to inhale in through the nose, out through the mouth. As you do this, see if you can pump any of that to stay a lot, you want to stay energy out of the mouth. Soft shoulders as you do so. Five more, really get rid of any oxygen, stale oxygen, taking a little fresh energy for the day. And then after your next one, you're just going to pause after the exhale. So don't take a new deep, deep breath in. Just stay still after the exhale and just feel the body taking all that oxygen. Start to feel any sensations in the skin, temperature. Noticing any sacred silence in your body and mind that you've just created. Nobody else can create that but you. And just remind yourself that it's always there for you when you need it with the breath. Gently blink the eyes open, bringing the hands towards prayer at heart centre. Gently bow into each other and to yourselves. And see if you can go forward today and just reflect on the intention that you set. See if you can take that energy flow into the day rather than just in your practice. Namaste. Have a lovely day. Hope that's filled your cup up so that you can go forward today with loads of energy.